how do I convert an object to an editable poly? An editable poly is a polygonal object to which you can apply some sort of modeling operation. You can select vertices, edges, polygons, elements, borders, and so forth, and start moving these around or extruding them or performing all sorts of operations to turn a simple object into something else. Now, this is done in a few ways. Let me start off by creating a box here in my scene. So we'll just drag this out and click, we'll right click to get out of the tool. And then I'm gonna jump over to the modify panel. Now currently my modify panel shows in the stack that this is just a box. I can't select vertices, I can't perform any operations on this whatsoever. But if I right click on it, I can choose convert to editable poly and there's also uh, editable patch and editable mesh. Editable mesh is kind of an older version. You generally won't be using it, but sometimes it's useful. Patches is something else altogether. We're not gonna worry about NURBS objects. We're just focusing on editable poly. So we'll click on that, and now we've converted. We can expand, and here are all of our vertices, edges, borders, and polygons. We can select each of these and perform modeling operations upon them. I'm not gonna get into that. This is really just a video over conversion. Let me create a second object, though, and I'll show you another way to go about this. We'll create a sphere. Now to convert this over to an editable poly without having to go to the modifier panel, we can right click and come down to convert to and choose editable poly from the quad menu. Now once it's converted, once you've done that once, just as kind of a, a tip, if we create yet a third object, we've got to do a teapot. I mean, you just absolutely have to have a teapot. If you've done the convert to editable poly once, you'll notice currently it's highlighted in blue. You can uh, right click again and just click on the transform heading here in the quad menu and it'll perform whatever operation is currently highlighted in blue. So it's just kind of a shortcut, an even faster way to convert this over to an editable poly so that you can model it.